All right, guys, Wednesday. We've got a good workout for you guys. It's a 25 minute AMRAP. Jenny's gonna do the demonstration on this one. So we'll get you guys right in and after it. 25 minutes, six Turkish get-ups. Are you doing what? Am I warming up? Do I need to warm up? Do you need to warm up? Yeah. No, just go right to it. All right. <laughs> we'll give you something at the end here. We got six Turkish get-ups, six bear complexes, and then run 200 or run for one minute. So 25 minutes, six Turkish get-ups. You're alternating left and right for a total of six. The bear complex, which is deadlift, power clean, push press, back squat, and a push press, and then a one minute or a 200 meter run. So Jenny will take you through that Turkish get up. Are you talking about it? No, I think you're taking it through. Yeah, usually the person talks to the other person. Then. Oh, why can't we mix things up? Okay. I'll do it. I'll talk then. You're too fast for me. Okay, yeah. so I want to keep the kettlebell up on my head at all times. My arms straight at all times. So from here, I come to a sit-up, so I come to the side, and then into a lunge. Stand all the way up overhead. My arms should be straight up overhead. Same thing as before. Reverse the movement. Step back into my lunge. Find the floor behind me. Bring my leg through and reverse down through that sit-up. I'm going to go ahead and switch sides. Do the same thing on the other side. I do a sit-up to the side. Come up on my elbow. Bring my leg underneath me. Into a lunge. Stand all the way up. Reverse the movement backwards. Step back into my lunge. Find the floor behind me. Pull my leg through and reverse down the sit up. So three on each side for a total of six reps. Do them slow guys, do them slow. I think the number one thing we see in class is people trying to race the clock and they're going way too fast on the Turkish get up. It's a slow movement guys. Don't race the clock, think good foot, like good movement. You get a bad position in your knee. Don't race the clock here. Think good movement, fitness for life guys. Don't hurt yourself trying to race the clock. All right. Bear that was complex. my bad rep. That was my bad rep. That was your bad rep? Okay. Okay. Bear complex. If you have two, do it with two. If you have one, you're alternating. Again, six on each side. So I start with my kettlebell deadlift into my hang power clean, into my push press, bring the kettlebell back down. Hold in that front rack position and squat, and then once again, push press. A couple of things I want you to focus on. Obviously, good movement patterns. When I am deadlifting, screw my heels into the floor. Again, hinge at the hip to come down and pick up that kettlebell. I come all the way up, stand fully, hips fully extended. From here, I reach my hips down and back again into that clean position. Notice how when I do the clean, I use my hips and then my arms to get the kettlebell there. And I bring the kettlebell around my wrist instead of up and over, right? I see that a lot and it doesn't feel very good. It's not so bad if you catch it on your upper arm, but when you are constantly hitting it, you'll end up with a bruise. Watch out for your eye watch, whatever that thing's called. Eye watch. Oh, it's an eye watch? I have a garment. Oh yeah, it is a garment. It's about this big. It's like the size of the kettlebell. Constantly doing kettlebell. I'm so strong. All right, so again, remember that movement coming around your arm, not up and over. From here, on your push press, it needs to be a push press, not a push jerk. When you start bringing your heels up off the floor, you're losing all your power. As I come down, I come straight down like somebody pushed on my head. When I come up, I want to push my heels through the floor and extend my legs. I'm not losing my power by coming up onto my toes or what I would call a really ugly push jerk because you're not really pulling underneath it enough but you're losing all the power through your heels. So again, I'm gonna alternate and do it on the other side. Same thing as before, bring it around, push, press. My heels drive through the floor, keeping that kettlebell nice and high in a front rack position. Squat, 
And then once again, another push press, right? If I'm doing a push jerk, then I might as well just do a push jerk and really come underneath it. But when you're just lifting your heels off the floor, you're losing all your power that any of your legs were gonna give you. So, deadlift, hang power clean, push press, back squat or front rack squat, push press is one rep. You're doing six. Six on this side, six on this side. If you're using two, then you're just doing a total of six. Okay. Sounds good. All right. I'm ready for my challenge? You're of course. Right. All right. Drag. If you're gonna try this, this is a fun one. Try it home, but make sure it's stable. Like these things aren't going anywhere. Yeah. Drag yeah. and thrust. Yeah. Drag and thrust. Totally yeah. Hope you something's gonna move. Something's gonna you can hold on to strong. All right. Are you ready? Uh, I think so. You think so? Okay, we're gonna, can we hold it? We're, we're just gonna, gonna hold it. Hold it. What happened? We're just gonna see how we can hold it. I'll give you the. I'll give you. Start there. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna last long. Oh, you're holding it way up there. I can't. I can't do it lower. Uh, I'm not sure which ah. part. Ah, oh, we're terrible. Know which part? My upper body or my ass? Yeah, they're they're tough. I did a whole bunch of them yesterday. They're a good one. Fun little challenge, guys. The higher you go up, you can slowly lower yourself down. If you want to do it, we're just trying to hold the position there. But if you start, you can slowly, slowly lower yourself up. Oh, my gosh, I'm dying today. I'm using all my upper body. We got to hold. Well, that's why it needs to be something stable. I know, but I it's, don't know if it's doing my abs. You don't I'm feel your abs? Like 90%, 10%. Well, let's take a look at it. <laughs> my movement. <laughs> Keep in mind, it like my back is so big. Get those hands up. So you're not feeling your abs right there? You, I, <laughs> yeah, I feel it. My back hurts, though. Kind of okay. okay. All right, have fun with that. It's a fun little challenge. It's a good movement. It's hard. <laughs>